So I have some milk and water in here, and I'm just trying to bring it up to a boil, actually. It's really just a simple chocolate mousse recipe, um, but in, it doesn't have the heavy cream. Instead of adding heavy cream, we're going to add a meringue. So these are the egg whites that the I've added whites. on the chicken. Okay. <laughs> And I'm going to start this off on a low whisk. We're making a French meringue, which is just raw egg whites and raw sugar. So here I have the chocolate that is already melted. And I'm going to add the egg yolks mm -hmm. to kind of give it that richness that you find in chocolate mousse. You see the chocolate, I don't know if you can see or not. Yeah, okay. they can see. Uh, the chocolate definitely thickens up a bit. So it's stiff. It's a, it's a medium meringue. Okay. So you want to add your meringue slowly, because what happens is the chocolate sets up a little bit from the egg yolks. And when you're using meringue, you always add a little bit at first. And you definitely mix it very well to kind of loosen up your mixture. But you definitely really have to work it in very well. Right. So you're trying, really trying to incorporate it here. Yeah, you don't want to have lumps. So you can definitely see the difference in the textures. Yes, and the color. Mm -hmm, the color yeah. as well. You're just going to lay it out on a sheet tray. And do you have anything on the tray? There's, uh, I'm sorry, it's covered with acetate Thanks or for plastic. That. Okay. You could also use parchment or wax paper very easily. Just spread it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then what you do with this, put it in the oven. So what you can do, it, it really depends on your oven. This is something you want to do the day before, for sure, if not the two days before, possibly. But you want to put it in an oven. With, uh, I'm also going to do Fahrenheit here, I'm sorry. It's about 150 to 165. It's very low. Very so low. the idea is to just dehydrate it, and it becomes crunchy and crispy. Right. And so what you end up with, hopefully, here, is something like this. It's crunchy, and it's totally dry. OK, so now back to the chocolate frozen foam. So the milk is hot, the chocolate in the bowl. And then I'm going to add, I believe it's sugar and milk powder. And obviously, the sugar is for sweetness. And the milk powder is to give it more richness without having to add more liquid. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to add your gelatin. Did you fill the canister? Okay. So these have already been soaked in cold these water? These have already been bloomed. Yes. Um, ice water, I always use ice water. That way there's no doubts um, that your gelatin's going to melt. It's about five minutes. Mm -hmm. And then you always want to squeeze all the extra liquid out. Mm -hmm. And then you just melt it in. Always into your hot liquid. Always into your hot liquid. The liquid needs to be 140 degrees, which is Fahrenheit. Okay. Yeah, 50, 60 Celsius. That makes more sense, yeah. So you're going to pour your hot liquid over your chocolate. It's kind of like making a, a ganache. It's the same idea. And you want to let this set for a second to kind of thoroughly melt the chocolate. So then I'm just going to take my uh, immersion blender over here. Mm -hmm. Saves you a little bit of time, a little bit of work. And it just gives a better emulsion on everything. So normally, we would strain this through a chinois. And then you're going to want to chill it on ice. I have some already made and chilled. Um, here we have uh, liquid nitrogen. I don't know. You probably, maybe you've seen it in other demos. So I'm just going to disperse the foam out. And it's something you want to do quickly. And so if you're doing it at home, if you're doing it at home, you're just going to do this. Okay. And then with the nitrogen, what we do is we just ladle it on top. break it apart, and then I actually I pour a little bit more on so that it freezes all the way through. Mm -hmm. So it's really just aesthetically interesting. The aerated chocolate is simply melted chocolate with a little bit of grapeseed oil. Now you can use any kind of oil for this. And it keeps it glossy as well. Keeps it glossy. Just disperse the foam. And the air is in it. It's aerated. Put it in the freezer, just like this. 
And obviously, chocolate is going to set up in about 10 minutes. And what you're going to get, any of you have had an Aero bar, perhaps? So it. it's just chocolate, but it's a fun texture. <clears throat> so some of the things that I did not talk about, the dulce de leche, which is just caramelized sweetened condensed milk. It's really easy. Yep. Um, you just buy caramel, or I'm sorry. Sweet condensed Sweet milk. Sweetened condensed milk in the can, yep. cover it with water, and boil it. Right. Boil it for a couple hours. Um, I don't have a secret as to ha knowing when it's done. You definitely want to keep it always covered. You're going to lose a little bit of water uh, while doing it, so you want to keep an eye on it, babysit it a little bit. Two, two and a half hours. So this is the um, whipped creme fraiche, which is also part of the dish. So and the, these are the components that we didn't actually components. make today. Yes. So what we have here is another that I did not cover. It's a uh, dehydrated milk foam. Mm -hmm. And it's just like making a latte. You foam your milk, you pan it out onto a sheet pan, and just like the chocolate mousse, you're going to dehydrate it overnight. Mm -hmm. This is your aerated chocolate. Just put a few pieces around the dish. So here we have the frozen foam, which is still very frozen. That's OK. And then we're going to finish it with the caramelized white chocolate sorbet, which is very firm. Caramelized white chocolate sorbet. Yes, which is what we talked about earlier. And you guys tasted a little bit of that caramelized white chocolate. OK. So this is the finale? This is the finale. Wow. And the colors are beautiful, how they all go together. It's all. That's Caramel, chocolate, yes, browns, yes. but very different. A little fleur de sel, or I actually use Malden salt in the restaurant. Just a light sprinkle, tiny bit. And that just brings out the flavor even Absolutely. more. Absolutely, yep. yep. A little bit of crunch, too. Okay, so officially it's over? It's over. Wonderful. Thank you very much, guys.